Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Wichita State Shockers and the Houston Cougars. Number three is just great at capitalizing on his experience as a senior leader. And that keeps his teammates grounded out on the floor. He shows the grounded determination of upperclassmen, Brad. The Cougars will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Cougars should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Next, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Finally, get out of those shooters. Challenge every shot. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses the first shot. Makes the foul shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Takes the shot. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He keeps his dribble as they reset. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They go into the low block. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And off the mark. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. There he is. Strips the ball loose. There was no doubt about that one. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Set that screen away. And the ball goes out of bounds. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He shoots from the top of the key. Take another look at that play. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunity. Off the rim and no good. Number 21 takes the feed. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. That's a 9-0 run. Number 21 takes the pass. And he missed. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to die, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. On 
the dribble, gives it up. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Now trying to feed the low block. Here's a flash from the post up high for the bucket. Easy one. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They're working around the arc. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Number three is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Diggy V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and often. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Number 21, pump fakes. He's got a nice shot fake. Executes the baby hook. They still don't score. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Number 21 gets the ball. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. On the outside. Dumping inside. The small forward with the ball. Down inside. Down he goes and no foul call either way. Wow, no call. I can't believe that one. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He attempts the trifecta. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Trying to feed the low block. Fakes it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR. Hey, where's Mr. Petty? The power forward gets the pass. Perfectly executed. Look at that spacing. He shoots from left of the circle. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. 
Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Top of the circle. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Oh, Got a oh. nice screen. Up and in. perimeter fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us on the dribble gives it up he puts up the three ball way off target Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Dick, what's one obvious advantage that the home team has over their competition? I think the home court advantage is such an underrated phenomenon. There are so many factors that are in the home team's favor. Turns it over. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Both teams looking to get things going here. This one might turn out to be a blowout. Hey, if it continues along this path, I would hate to see tomorrow's headlines. There's the trap. Way off target. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot move go. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. 
First half update again. Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player. What do you think he's doing so far? I tell you what, does he look like the 3S man? Super scintillating and sensational. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He does the sweet fake shot. They work it back to the outside. Puts it up, looking for contact. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Down in the low close, defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. There's the pick. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For the bucket, Houston are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. the dribble gives it up he unloads a three and Dick no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc hey this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are you just can't put it in baby he gets it to go they work the perimeter there's a double team waiting there. Great play to take that to the basket. And working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. Shots there if he wants it. For that reason, right there. That's why I love college basketball. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. Well, I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. From the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. And now there's a whistle and a foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Number 42 goes to the charity stripe for two. It goes in. He drained it. That's a nylon NBA. The frustration right there. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Oh, 
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Great anticipation defensively. From three-point territory, way off target. Intercepted. Number five. Modest play is having a negative effect on his composure emotionally. He couldn't be much lower, I don't think. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. He is going to the line. Gets his first. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Goes up for two. And off the mark. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Tries for two. My dad does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. It's electrifying in here. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Up and inside. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the six-man for no reason. And a momentary look from three-point land. Let's it fly. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jay. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. With the fake. He shoots from the top of the circle. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Two doesn't go. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. On the outside. He tries the three ball. Way off target. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Opportunity for two for one. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. And the 
top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Shot clock is dead. And the fans are going wild. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Way off target. He fires from long range. Nice rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Whistle for three beats. They gotta have better awareness. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. From way outside, the shot's off target. At the end of the first half, the Cougars are up by 21. Three conducted a scoring clinic out there in the first half, partner. He was awesome, baby, with a capital A. I mean, the lean, mean scoring machine, Mr. Nestler. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I would run him off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. The crowd really admires this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Good fake. Step out on that screener. He hammers it home. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. He intercepts it. Turnaround jumper, and he missed. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little Pipsy Dude Dunkaroo. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He shoots from the top of the circle. Way off target. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. It's no good. They work the perimeter. He pump fakes. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the blocks it. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Puts up the shot. He drains the bucket. On the outside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Number 21 grabs it. Dump it inside. Tries a three. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The fake. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. And he'll kick it back outside. The off he rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number one is pounded on his way up. Number one is going to the charity strike. Hits that one. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. That's a 9 nothing run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Jump hook from the low block. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But an up falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Here's the three ball, way off target. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He puts it up off the rim and no good. For two, he buries it. From three-point range, way off target. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And a momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. In and out. They'll work it around the arc. He dials long distance. He gets the shot to fall. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. From left of the circle, 
Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, what a strip, Red. Jumps into the defender. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. For the bucket, buried it. They scored seven in a row. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Roll it back, fellas. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Puts up the tray. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating them. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. And drains it. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Cougars lead by 23. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up for two. Easy one. The Shockers trail by 25. Double team now, bad angle. Way out on top. Controlling the ball, trying to draw the foul. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Dump it inside. Sets the screen. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they taught him how to play, baby. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Now the high screen. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. For two. The land. I 
That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Takes the pass in the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Rips down the rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Goes up for two. This one's turning into a big blow, baby. They work the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point land. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, the coaching staff told me before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. Fake. They're going to move it around the perimeter. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Scorches the net. How about an instant replay? On the outside. Picks off the pass. The ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. For the bucket, and off the mark. Nice fake. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Steals a pass. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. It sticks. That's a seven-zip run. Picks off the lazy pass. Pushes it up. And the ball goes out of bounds. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Two, and in and out. Goes up for two. Nice shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. Takes away the pass. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, ten points, twenty points. It doesn't matter. On the dribble, gives it up. Good job defensively. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away.
strips the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This moment is brought to you by State Farm. Entry pack and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They'll work it around the arc. He looks for the bomb. He makes the shot. To get another look at it in the lane. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle pick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. For the bucket, doesn't go. The point guard receives the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. <laughs> the student body is rocking tonight. Aren't they great, man? I love it. Gave it up. Trying to draw some contact. Contact causes the shot to come off. The Shockers have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Jumped in front to take it away. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there on the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. With a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves with these games. The mail is off the charts, Brad. <laughs> Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Off the rim and no good. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because he makes the block. That's good. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. A 
our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he really responded to the challenge, and that led them to the winner's side. Houston showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and it did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.